When you look at that video, you ask yourself, could a major tornado outbreak, such a massive operation, happen here? We've seen our share of smaller tornadoes in Colorado. Take a look at this map showing one of the most memorable twisters in recent history in our state, debunking the myth that tornadoes don't happen in mountainous regions. News First 5, Matt Stafford, in depth tonight. He's live. Matt, you learned today about our tornado risk. Yeah, Rob, and our risk picks up as we get towards the end of May, getting to the peak of our severe weather season. Now, the tornadoes that we usually get are of the smaller variety, but we always have the chance of spinning off a big one. The damage they can do is devastating, and every year tornadoes pop up in Colorado. We're right on the edge of Tornado Alley. But usually our storms aren't as severe as in other places. They're strong enough to do a little damage. They don't last for very long. They hit and they get. But occasionally a tornado will turn into a big one, like one in June of 1979 in Manitou Springs. Now some people don't think tornadoes form in the mountains, but they do, and this one came right down Ute Pass. Then it hit that 7-Eleven right then, and it took the back wall out. Tornadoes will also travel over water. <laughs> this funnel was caught on camera by boaters in August 2008. Then a year later, near the same area, one formed over Lake George in 2009. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, there's a tornado, and then it hit me that there's actually a tornado in Lake George, so I reached back and grabbed my camera. The storm did damage, but not like other communities have seen. In 1990, the town of Lyman saw an F3 tornado. 14 people were hurt and buildings were leveled around town. Last summer, locals recognized 20 years since the devastating storm. I think we had a tornado in Holly. In 2007, a storm in Prowers County took out more than a third of the homes in Holly and killed two people. Uh, lights went out, and then we just heard this big rumble and roar, and that was it. The next year, in May of 2008, the community of Windsor in northern Colorado saw heavy damage from a storm, killing one person. We heard the windows breaking and everything. It's scary. <laughs> So if you hear people saying that they're safe from tornadoes because they live in Colorado, you better tell them to think again. Now, if you'd like to go back and look up any previous storm, there's a website that you can do that on. We've put a link on our website, newsfirst5.com. You can go on there and search for this story to click on that link. Reporting live, Matt Stafford, News First 5.